guys, welcome to the Cuba Kitchen Journey again. First of all, before we go on with anything, before you hear what I have to say, like our video and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle. Okay, so this is a new Pampered Chef product. It came out uh, this March, all right? So it came out March of 2021. And I am super excited. We've been using it a lot, but I want to tell you a little bit about it. All right, first of all, it comes with four plates. It comes with the grill plates, the rigid ones. It comes with whoop, the flat plates, all right, the griddle. It comes with two of each. Uh, you can also buy separate the waffle plates, which are super fun to use, all right? But we're going to be learning a little bit more about them. So you see this, okay, that plug-in thing? This is the heat source for each plate. So every plate has this heat source. And can you see ours have like these little specks all over? That's because we stick it in the dishwasher, which is a wonderful tool, okay? You can just finish using it, stick it in the dishwasher. It also has this cool little cleaning tool that you can just scrape the residue off before you stick it in the dishwasher, which makes cleaning super easy. I get frustrated and annoyed when making waffles because it makes a mess. In the waffle makers, the plates are stuck to the thing, so you have to like clean it. These, you push the plates off, wipe it off, stick it in the dishwasher. So that was a big plus for our family. They are super, super easy to use. Another thing that I really like about it is all the settings. Whoop, I'm not paying attention. There we go. Once we take a look at this, there's the time. You can set the time you want it for temperature, top and bottom. So if I put a custom, I can select, there we go. It's gonna ask top, what temperature you want the top, and the bottom, what temperature you want the bottom. If I switch it over, there's cancel it so we can see another one. Uh, custom, sear, panini, grill, griddle, and keep warm. And it already comes like I put keep warm, it already shows me 140. I can change that, but it already has a presetting on there. If I click probe, it's gonna ask me what temperature do I want it to go. So I'm gonna say I want it 400 degrees, right? I set the temperature that I want, add 30 seconds. If you want more time on there, less time, you can add 30 seconds at a time until you reach 10 minutes or however long you want to add to the time if you don't wanna restart it. With a probe, I put whatever temperature I want my meat to reach and get to, and it's going to shut off whenever it gets to that. So I'll set the grill to 400 degrees, and then I'll set the temperature to whatever, I mean, do you like your medium, well, rare, whatever you like it to, you set it, and once it gets to that, it's going to shut off. So there are a lot of different options on here, which I really enjoy. And it can go up to, here you go, you can see how far that can stay just to keep the temperature on over it, but not squish whatever you have on there. So you can put some pretty thick pieces of steak on there and not squish your meat. Now, if you want your grill marks, top and bottom, that's up to you. All right, it has all the settings, several different settings on it, but it takes away the guesswork. So like we had pancakes this morning and eggs, my husband makes sunny side eggs, okay? If you like that thing, sure. But uh, the pancakes, from the first pancake to the last pancake, they came out the same. There's not like, okay, is it warm enough? Okay, is it warm enough? No, it beeps, lets you know it's warm enough because you put the setting on there and then you put the pancakes and they're all the same. Now, this advantage to that is it takes time to preheat. So it takes like, anywhere from five, from three to five minutes, up to six minutes to preheat. So it takes away the guesswork, but it also takes time to get ready. Um, another cool thing about it, it's in here. So this is the tri drip tray. And in the drip tray, there's this little storage area here where there is a probe. This probe, 
So you attach it here, make sure it goes all the way, click it in, and then you stick it in your meat or stick it in whatever you're putting on there and you set it in the grill. Once you put it in there, you set the temperature for the probe. So it's like if I want my, my meat to be 120 degrees or whatever temperature it is, once it reaches that temperature with a probe, everything shuts off. So, and even if you want only one of the plates to stay on, once the item that has the probe in reaches a temperature, it shuts off. So that is great to not like overcook your meat. Um, another thing, we have made a lot of things on here. We've made buffalo chicken waffles. Those are really good. Uh, we made the waffles for it with cornbread. It was wonderful. And we've made uh, panini, we've made steaks, we've made breakfast items. But one thing here that is different from other grills that you need to pay attention to is, so you have the plate, okay? It's tightly sealed. It's pressing whatever's in there. If I have my hamburger in there with a grill plate, it's gonna leave that beautiful grill marks squishing my meat. Now, if I'm making steak and I wanna sear it, I wanna, I don't want the top to get squished though. There's a magnet on the back here that controls that. So I can set it to whatever height I want and it's going to be flat just hovering over my food. So it'll heat up the top and heat up the bottom, but the top won't touch on it. And if I'm making a panini and I want it to be squished, but I'm making it with like some thick sourdough bread, I don't want, with regular grills, like when you press them, the back gets squished, the top is big because of the position of the grill. So then your cheese ends up just squishing out. You unlock the magnet part and you leave it in the closed position, it's going to press the same amount on the top as the bottom. So that way you don't have a skinny on the back, large on the top, front. So that is a very good plus in my opinion. Storage for it, it is big. So a lot of people complain about that because of not having counter space for it. It does, the cord does wrap up and it can stand up, whoop, make sure you lock it first. That could be bad. It will stand up. It will lock and stay in a upright position. But if you have kids, it is not very stable. So if you're going to put it upright, make sure it's between other appliances or you don't have kids around. So let me show you here how it opens. There's a little clip on the side, opens it flat. Each plate can be set to a different temperature. So if I am making bacon on my rigid plate and pancakes on my flat plate or eggs, which eggs, like they're delicate. You want the temperature to be just right. You can actually set one plate to a different temperature as the other. So you can cook two things at different temperatures at the same time. These plates are big. Like you can put six pancakes on there. You can put six eggs on there and on each plate, which is a great advantage for people that has a bigger family. If you are looking for a grill and griddle that will do a lot, this is a great item for you. It does, I mean, from breakfast, lunch to dinner. Get your breakfast in there, your bacon, your eggs, or your waffle, get your paninis in there for lunch, get your steaks on there for dinner, steak on one side, vegetables on the other side. It's great. One downside, is it worth it because of the price? I mean, the item itself with the four plates only, not including the waffle plates, is $349. To get the waffle plates, it's $75. You can get a combo that has all of it that is cheaper. At full price, for us, I wouldn't get it. But if you host a party, you get it at 50% off, definitely worth it because you are cutting out several other appliances that keep taking up space in your house. So you can use it, so multiple things in one. It's wonderful for pre-programmed settings and temperatures. So you set it all up, you'll get a chance to take a look at all the buttons, all the fancy settings on it. 
But the great thing about it is takes away the guesswork. Takes away, is this hot enough? Is that cold enough? Is this just the right temperature? Is it done? When it's done, that forgetting, because a lot of appliances have a timer that beeps when your meat reaches a certain temperature. This one doesn't only beep, so if you go to the restroom, you'll not listen to it. This one not only beeps, it shuts off. So once you have the setting, once it reaches the temperature, it shuts off on its own. Anyway, guys, if you like our content, if you like our video, if you like what we are showing, take a look at our other videos. Make sure to subscribe to our page.